在台电张滨工业区的风力发电机上面。这座风力发电机有六十七公尺高，将近二十三层楼。Driving across the west coast of Taiwan, there stands these gigantic white windmills along the beach. The turbines use the wind energy to rotate the blades, which drive the generator to produce electricity. Taiwan is narrow and densely populated. It is rather difficult to find a proper land wind farm. It's more so because it's been saturated. Offshore wind farms, therefore, has become the solution for more wind powers. The goal of Taiwan's offshore wind power development is to reach 5.7 gigawatt by 2025. In other words, at Taiwan Strait, there will be green energy power plants with capacity equivalent to two nuclear power plants. And this is merely the current stage goal. By year 2035, the scale of offshore wind powers is estimated to triple, reaching 20.7 gigawatts generation in total. This is Taiwan's ongoing green energy revolution. Hello everyone, I'm Zheng Guowei. So what exactly is offshore wind power? How will these massive white wind turbines make an impact on Taiwan's future? In this episode of Taiwan Keywords, we will be visiting Taiwan Strait by boat to explore the front line of offshore wind powers. Taichung Port is the key in the development of Taiwan's wind power industry. Here you can see the construction crew are now hurrying in the dusty wind. This spot will be the stronghold of Taiwan's wind power industry. Taiwan's offshore wind power has total output value exceeds 1.5 trillion new Taiwan dollars. The Ministry of Economic Affairs has designated a 3km radius of Taichung Port as an offshore wind power zone. Tens of billions of dollars have been invested by manufacturers to build plants. Many large wind turbine assembly plants in Taiwan and the international investments are being completed one after another. The key components of offshore wind turbines are now in production. These gigantic components will be transported to the Taiwan Strait. Hundreds of brand new offshore wind turbines will be standing on the sea. This is our goal today, TPC Offshore Phase 1 Wind Farm. According to a survey by International Power Generation Consultant Incorporated, the wind speed ranking of global offshore wind plants 8 out of the top 20 offshore wind plants are located in the western coast of Taiwan. It is estimated that if the wind power plants can be built along the western coast of Taiwan from Taoyuan to Taichung, it will bring astonishing amount of output value by establishing an offshore wind power network. You see, Taiwan Strait has the shape of a trumpet, wind accelerate upon entering the strait. Therefore, the average wind speed is very high throughout the year. And with a strong monsoon in winter, Taiwan Strait become the best location for offshore wind power generation. The strong monsoon winds in winter, coupled with the solar power in summer, are the two pillars of Taiwan's green energy.现在是刚好是台湾的比较没有风的一个期间 the height above water of the meteorological observation tower has to reach the hub height of the wind turbine, that is, above 7 meters above the sea surface. The major items include above water data such as wind speed, wind direction, temperature, pressure, humidity, 
and rainfall. Also, subsurface data such as current velocity, water temperature, and water density are all collected through the long period of time. All data are used as a reference for building offshore wind farm. Lenyu 顺利的话，一直风机的新建时间只需要一到两周就可以完成。不过，台湾离岸风电真正的挑战就是风，东北季风。It's super strong in the winter time. The weather window of the offshore operation is very short. Only from April to September, about half a year is the time available for construction. So every second counts. When installing the underwater foundation for the offshore wind turbine, it must be stacked to a depth about 45 to 65 meters then connect the pillars of the wind turbines while installing shear keys and the ground underwater with special concrete. Finally, install the rest of the components, such as the tower body, the nacelle, blades, etc. All above are assembled one by one to build an offshore wind turbine in the turbulent sea. It's not an easy job. <laughs> 到工厂的生产都有受到很大的一个疫情的一些影响。For the 21 wind turbines of the TBC Phase 1 wind farm, the submarine power cables installation were completed in May of 2021. All 21 wind turbines were installed in June. Initial integration was completed in August. 那那时候的第一度电的时候，我刚好就是在风机的平台上。那当初它发出第一度电啊，真的是很感动啊。Thai Power's Phase 1 offshore wind farm is large in scale, but there are many more larger wind farms being built at the same time. According to the energy policy of the Ministry of Economy and Affairs, the target of offshore wind power generation is to grow the cumulative installation capacity by 2025 to 5.7 gigawatts. By that time, there will be nearly 20 wind farms, approximately 1,000 huge wind turbines to provide renewable energy power for Taiwan. There are strict operating regulations applied at the offshore wind turbines. Personnel are required to obtain the safety training qualification from the Global Wind Organization before they can board an offshore wind turbine. Under the safety regulations, the team and I are not allowed to get on the wind turbine. 为了了解风力发电机的内部构造，我们来到张斌工业区，这里是台电设立的陆域风力发电机，我将跟着工程人员进到风机的内部，看看他们维运作业的过程。哎，郭经理好。哎，茂林科长你好。是是是。郭台，我们现在是在风机的剩下方。哎，是。那我们这风机是属于张工二期，六十七米高的风机。六十七米。对，一直算到那个机底的位置。这个要维修应该蛮
叙述一下这个经验，就是说在东北季风的话，我们这边上西仓的话是超过十五米，我们就原则上都尽量不要上机舱。原因是说，那东北季风来说，那个会瞬间的阵风，包含我们搭乘这个电梯的部分，有时候我之前有看过，它会直接撞到塔下。甚对，然后甚至造成电梯突然的故障，这时候就很危险，你可能就是要攀爬出这个塔架，好、哦、逃生。嚯嚯嚯！这个就很有电影的感觉了。非常非常小的电梯，要是这一路都要用爬的话，大概会很痛苦。好在还是有电梯可以搭。不过刚才听科长说，有时候为了要检查各个细部的地方，还是得要用呃爬的方式，才有办法检查到细节。身身体往往。The temperature reaches 40 Celsius inside the turbine. The maintenance engineers have to withstand the heat, height, and the shakiness. I'm literally all sweat. It's such a tough job. Wow! Wow! This is deep, deep in the sea. 导演不要这样吧，导演。就是要这样，办什么叫做节目？站起来了。靠比较东侧的地方，但是我们一起，然后这边一直延伸到来一个建筑物，那个这都是属于二期。那一起的范围还要包含最南边的那个轮尾区。再过去的话就是鹿港。Wind turbines convert wind energy into electricity. The longer the blade, the larger the wind area. The more wind energy can be captured. The height of the tower increases along the blade. Taiwan's current 9.5 megawatts class wind turbine blades weigh 35 tons and are 85 meters long, bigger than a commercial airliner. The sweat area is about 174 meters in diameter. In the future, there will even be bigger ones with a sweat area of 250 meters in diameter. 尽管离岸风电会是台湾能源转型不可或缺的一块拼图，但现实上，再生能源发展速度还需要加快脚步。Now is the critical time for Taiwan's offshore wind power development. Many large wind farms are completing their underwater infrastructures. Two years ago, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it was not easy for foreign construction teams to enter the border, and the technical threshold for manufacturing key components is high. As a result, domestic suppliers could not keep up with the production capacity. Meanwhile, protest voice and other issues from the locals delay the construction. Taiwan's energy transformation is still a bumpy ride ahead. Our last stop of this journey is at Xigu, Tainan, the photovoltaic power station in Yantian district of Tainan, in the unused 214 hectares soil field of Jiangjun and Xigu in Tainan. Thai Power installed 480,000 solar panels. 那我们这个厂区一共分为三区 A、B、C 三区。我们共设置有四十八万片左右的光电板，哇，总容量约为一百五十枚，哇，这算是台湾算数一数的大的。是。再生能源像是风力发电跟太阳能发电，都具有间歇性跟变动性。为了让供电能稳定，就必须要建制高效率的储能系统。这个电池货柜里面就是放着我们的电池机跟电池模组。那我们这边储能送过来，直流送出来之后，这里会是我们的 PCS 直交流转换系统。到这里的话是我们的变压器
它这里会升到二十三 kV， 升上去之后再到压电了，对，就会变成高压的部分，再到我们刚刚那个 g p s 室那边去做气体边开关。There are eight energy storage containers in the photovoltaic plant. When the power supply is abandoned, the unused green energy can be stored as preparation for times when the power supply is tight, utilizing the energy in an efficient way. The energy storage system we have in front of us is designed for solar energy, but wind power are also going to have corresponding energy storage facilities soon. So, Yu Ren, why do we need this kind of energy storage system? What use? 那以亏线端来说的话，我假设亏线有一些机组它突然需要宕，那我的储能也可以马上起来去平衡整个电网缺失的电量。哎，好像一个不断电系统。对，那另外一个就是我可以做能量移转，就是在我比较不是尖峰的时候，我们可以把多余的电存起来。那等到尖峰用电的时候，我们再提供出来让大家使用。Taiwan's offshore wind and renewable energy needs a lot of improvement. Here, I would like to introduce you to a term, RE100. The Climate Group and the Carbon Disclosure Project are leading a global initiative. All companies that join must commit to achieving 100% renewable energy by year 2050. Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, and other global companies are joining. Pretty simply, if you don't use green energy, you won't be able to enter Apple's industrial trend in the future. However, Taiwan's current renewable energy generation capacity is still far from enough to meet the relevant demand. Taiwan has 98% of energy is related to the oil, and the majority of it is oil-based energy. How to improve our energy efficiency and the transition to renewable energy is our problem that we need to solve. In the next few years, more and more wind turbines will appear on the sea. They will become the driving force of power generation. We need ongoing investigations and assessments on what impact these large wind turbines may have on birds, marine life, and local fisheries. And comparing to fossil or nuclear energy, green energy faces new challenges such as energy storage facilities and recycling problems. Issues of balance between green energy development and environment is what needs to be considered and negotiated on the long road of Taiwan's green energy transformation.